All right, what's up, animators? So today I'm going to show you how to make uh, this little monster here with the blinking eye. Does it blink or does it wink? One eye? Can you can you wink if you have one eye? All right. So here's uh, we're going to create three keyframes for the three key moments. So here's a uh, frame one right here, eye open, and the second keyframe over here at ten, eye halfway closed or half open, and then at twenty we're going to close the eyeball right there. So frame one, keyframe one. Keyframe two, keyframe three, and we're gonna copy and paste these over here. We're also gonna make this in a couple layers. So the first layer has all our animating in there, and then that bottom layer just has the eyeball, and that doesn't get animated at all. All right, so let's get started. So I'm here to file new. The uh, the default presets here, that's okay with me. Character animation HD, that's cool. I'm not too concerned about the uh, size of the of the stage there. If you want to make something for Instagram, go ahead and click on social and select square right here. That's a one, uh, one by one ratio. Perfect for Instagram. But I'm going to go with this one right here. 1280 by 720. 30 frames per second. Sounds good. Create. All right. Start a new project here. Uh, so the first thing I want to do right here is create the uh, iris. So the blue and black part down here, up here. All right. So we're here to the oval tool. Make sure drawing mode is on right there. I want to make a perfect circle and I want to have the stroke, which is the outside color. This color here on the outside, I want that to be black. Sorry, this color here on the outside, I want that to be black and I want the inside to be blue. So stroke, that's the outside color there, the border. The perimeter and the inside, I'm gonna go with the blue color. What blue, I guess that blue right there looks good. If we want to make a perfect circle, I'm gonna hold on the shift key and then hold on the left mouse button and drag out a circle. There we go. Selection tool, make sure I got this right type of shape. Cool. All right, so you should have this blue boundary there. If when you go up here to the selection tool and you click on your circle, you don't have a blue box around it, just go ahead and delete it. Like for instance, if it looks uh, like this, you got the little mesh pattern on there, just go ahead and um, delete it, execute delete. Go back to the oval tool again. And make sure right here it says drawing mode on in the properties panel. And you can turn that off and on by clicking this button. You want it to say on. I know it's kind of hard to tell just by looking at it. So you got to read it over here. All right. So I'm going to try it again. Hold on shift. Hold down left mouse button and drag across. Just whatever looks like a good uh, iris size. That looks good. I want to put this in the centermost area. Also, um, I can't tell what the top or the bottom of my stage is. So I'm not sure if it's there or it's less. So I'm also going to change the size of my stage. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to click right here on 100. 80 enter. There we go. I zoomed out. And then to center this, center the stage, not the oval yet, not the circle. I'm going to click on the crosshairs here. All right. It's already centered. Now the selection tool and click on my uh, circle here. And there's a couple ways I'm, I can do this. I'll show you the long way first to center this. Uh, make sure it's selected. And then over here between the properties panel and the timeline panel, there's this bar chart looking thing right here. That's a line. You click in there. And then make sure this is activated. There should be a check mark there to the left of a line stage. If not, just click on that box on the left and you get the check mark there. And you're going to click this uh, top center icon here. Align horizontal center. Let's see if my circle shifts over. There we go. Now it's in the horizontal center. And the next one over here in the center part in the upper right segment here. Align vertical center. There we go. Slightly off there. Cool. So that's good there. I'm just clicking here. Now I'm going to make the uh, the pupil. So I'm going to go to oval tool again. And I want the inside of the pupil to also be black. So I'm going to click inside here the fill color. That's the inside color. Boom. So remember when you click inside these boxes, you get this big color palette. If you click outside of it, if you got a little eyedropper, you're going to get, it's going to sample whatever else is there. So if I go over here to this gray area, it's going to be gray. So you can see there, it's giving me a preview that it's going to be gray. I can go back over to the blue, get the exact same color. So I'll make this black on black. There we go. And I want to get a perfect circle. Hold on the shift key and drag. Cool. There we go. A little bit off. So I'm going to go here, selection tool. Click on it. Uh, this time, instead of going all the way over here, I'm just going to right click. I'm just going to right click it. And then go to a line right here. So yeah, probably saved you time, right? You can also use the shortcuts there. Control alternate 2 and Control alternate 5. There we go. And then align, and now go over here to vertical center. There we go. So you right click it, and then the pop-up menu, you go to align, 
in the horizontal center, and you right-click it again, and then vertical center. So the two center options there. Cool. So I got it there. All right. So there's my eyeball. Now I want to make the uh, that little white part right there, the reflection of the light in the eyeball. So I'm going to go back to the oval tool. And that one, if you notice here, there's no outline on it. There's nothing in the outline. There is no perimeter around it. It's just a white, white oval. So the fill color, that's this one right here, the inside color. I'm going to click in there, and I'm going to go with white. And then this one right here, that's the outline color. I don't want an outline. So if I select this icon here, the white box with the red slash, a little slash there, slash, whatever you want to call it, that's no color. There'll be no color there. So this one, I want to be an oval, so I'm just going to hold down the left mouse button and drag across. I'm not hitting shift. If I hold on shift, I'll get a perfect circle. If you want, you can get a perfect circle instead. I like the ones that kind of go out in an oval like that. There we go. Cool. All right. So now I'm going to finish off the eyeball here. It's going to be a white circle with the black outline there, the black stroke. And that's definitely going to be a color. I'm going to go with white because then it's going to get the background color. And I want this to be white. So I'm back to the oval tool again. Cool. Already selected. Stroke color. I want that black outline right here. There we go. And then the inside there is already white. Cool. So now it's going to draw a big circle here. I'm going to hold on the shift key and go up here, hold on the left mouse button. Why is I hold on the shift key and drag across? You get a perfect circle. And I know I'm covering it up. That's okay. Because I'm going to move it behind it. So your selection tool. Click on my big circle here. And I can go up here to align. And then go over to transform. Oh, sorry. So, uh, I think they moved it from there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's not there. So I'll show you guys the easy way anyways. So click on the circle here. And then you right click it. And then you're going to go over here to arrange. Send it to back. Not backward. So this goes one step back. Send it to back and it sends it to the very back behind everything. So right click it. Go to arrange. And then send to back. There we go. It's in the back. It's a little bit off. I want everything centered. So I'm going to right click it again. Align. Horizontal center. Right click. Align, vertical center. There you go, cool. So there's my eyeball. I got that whole layer done there, the eyeball. So the eyeball layer is not being animated. The whole thing is there. And I'm going to make this uh, next layer right here. So as you can see here, there's a little lock there. So I'm going to do that over here. I'm going to lock that one up. I can click in here, or I can click on this lock up here. This lock over here locks everything it's, that's in here. I only have one layer, so it's only that one layer there to lock. You can just use these dots here to individually lock them. All right, so that means I can't um, accidentally change anything in this layer here. So I can't even select it. I can't bring in that circle, nothing. All right, it's blocked. Because I don't want to mess with that anymore. I want it just like that. I'm just going to name it right here. I'm going to double click in there. And I'm going to name it Eyeball. There you go. Now I'm going to add a new layer. And the new layer is going to have the, uh, the green part here that's animated. And to do that, if you're on the soundline panel, I'm going to click on the sheet of paper. Not the folder. Not the folder, but a little... Uh, icon here looks like a paper being flipped over. New layer. Boom. That's my new layer there. And this one, I'm going to name Eyelid. Double click in there. Eyelid. Uh, you can also name it Eye Body, Top Layer, whatever. You, as long as it makes sense to you. All right. So here we go. So now I'm going to make the, the body here, this big green circle. So oval tool again. And black outline, cool. I want the uh, the body here to be green. I can go with a different color. You can make it look like this character from that looks similar, but it's not the character from a certain movie out there by Pixar Disney, which I am not gonna name. That other character has horns. This character does not have horns. Does not have any limbs either. I'm safe. All right. So I'm gonna go way out here, and make a body for it. You can try to make an oval one, or you can hold on shift, get a perfect circle, however you want. Um, I guess I'll kind of go with an ovalish body there. And that looks good right there. And then I want to center this. Selection tool, click the center here. Then right click. And then align. Horizontal center. Right click. Align. Vertical center. There we go. So now I'm going to make the eyelid right here. So you can see here there are two different layers. You can see right there if there's a hole that's punched in that. So this is just a this is just a perimeter, just a board on the outside. There's nothing in the center of that oval. So I'm going to create an oval here, and the fill color here is going to be nothing. 
So I'll click on the fill color and then click on this icon right here. So there's no color in the center. And I'm gonna go with the red outline. You can make it black or whatever color you want the outline to be. Let's go with red, go with the flesh, flesh tone color. There we go. So now I'm gonna make an oval in here. And something like that. Let me go to selection tool here, click on it. Let me and then right click it. Arrange and oh sorry, align. Put it in the center, vertical center, right click again, align, horizontal center. There we go. And if I want to make it bigger, I can change it later. I can change it right now. Just change it right now. Go to transform tool right here. And we'll pull this handle up right there. There you go. It's supposed to be an open eye, right? Maybe make, make it wider. So this is a different selection tool. This is free transform. You get these handles around your object, whatever selected. Okay. Remember, if you want to select the eyelid here, you got to click on the red dot right there, on the red line, on the red red perimeter, not the inside. You might get the uh, the big one there because this has no inside, just this like circle here, nothing inside. All right, cool. So there's my eye. Back to selection tool. Now, I wanna because I want to punch the hole in here. These are drawing objects. This red part and the green body in the back with the line. These are drawing objects. I need to convert them into shapes. That way I can cut this part out. So to do that, I can select everything by doing a drag select like this. Or I can also hit control A on my keyboard. It'll select everything in this layer. Other layers lock, can't do anything with that. So control A. Now I'm gonna convert this into a shape that will be different. So it's gonna be control B. B is in boy, control, hold on control. B is in boy. Boom, see now I have this dotted line here. Sorry, this is a dotted mesh uh, pattern. Now if I click on something, it'll individually get selected. Let me click away from it. See just the inside parts are selected, just the outside, just that part. And now I can also uh, use this to cut away on things. So I'm gonna click on the inside right here. See now it has that mesh, that mesh uh, pattern there. Delete, cool, I deleted that. I can see the uh, inside there. Let's say you wanna fix the um, that eyeball there so you don't see that. So a couple of things you can do, you can double click the red part and then go to free transform and just make it a little more narrow. And then color in the rest later, I'll show you that. Uh, but if you still wanna keep it wide, another thing you can do, let's see, selection tool, I made it wider. Click here and delete that. Click there and delete that. All right, so let's say I wanna make that bigger. I'm gonna unlock the eyeball layer. And then right here for the eyelid layer, I'm gonna click on the eye right below it. On the dot below the eye there, it's gonna hide that whole layer for me. There you go. And I'm gonna click on this one here. Free transform tool. And I'm gonna unhide it again. I'm just gonna make it bigger. So I can just pull it from here as well. And just make it wider so it covers that part there. There you go, not too big. You don't wanna see it in the background, right? Just enough so you don't see it uh, in there anymore. Cool, so I'm gonna lock up the eyeball again, eyeball layer. And you go back to business over here. Let's see there, first layer. The uh, top of the eye is actually touching that. So maybe we can make this a uh, little smaller as well. There we go. So now I'm gonna color that. I'm gonna go to the paint bucket. Paint bucket and the tools bar on the tools panel there. There we go. And then by default, usually it'll go to uh, this green body color here. If not, click inside the paint bucket uh, fill color here and then use a little sampler, a little pipe it to select the green color there. You have your bucket, and you're gonna click inside this white area here, fills it in, and that fills it in. And this is only possible um, after you convert it to a shape with Control-B. So back to selection tool there. All right. So this right here is my first frame. Oh, oh there's no smile, so I need to make a mouth. So if you look at the mouth, this is actually an oval. It's half an oval. And the part right here, I use a, I use a square to make that a rectangle. And then I use a triangle for the tooth. So let's go back over here to the oval tool. Uh, red outline, I want the inside of the mouth to be black. There we go, and I'll make an oval here off to the side. Not on it, I'm gonna make one over here somewhere. There we go. And then rectangle tool, and also I'm gonna make this off, because I don't wanna put it on top of it, because it might cut away like we did that over there. So right there, and then about halfway down, it's the rectangle tool. There we go. All right, selection tool. So you can select that. Cool, so these are drawing object mode. This is, these are drawing objects, they're not uh, shapes yet. All right, so now to make a little tooth here, maybe two. So to do that, I'm gonna use right here the polystar tool. If you wanna make a triangle, you know, with a polystar tool right here. 
And then I'm gonna click on Options or in the Properties panel. So by default, uh, it'll give me a polygon, five-sided uh, shape. I'm gonna change that down to three. So I wanna get three sides on my shape. I'll leave everything else alone, okay? I'm gonna make it over here. Uh, Cause I gotta change the color of it, it's gonna be white. And I don't want it to uh, make it here cause I'm not gonna see it, it's gonna disappear in that white background. So for the stroke, no color there. I don't want no outline on it. For the fill, it's gonna be white. There it goes, just a white triangle. Nothing else on it. So I'm gonna hold on left mouse button and drag across and bring it down like that. Cool, transform tool. I'm gonna click on it one time. Now I'm gonna go down here to this bottom handle here. Hold down the left mouse button and drag down, make a pointy tooth, there we go. So now I'm gonna try to move it down here. So to do that, I wanna hover the mouse somewhere inside of the white area here. Make sure the, um, the symbol next to your mouse cursor is a four-sided arrow. You don't wanna get the double-sided one. It's gonna make it wider. Control Z undo. If you make any mistakes, just hit Control Z. Z for zebra. Hold down Control, hit Z for zebra. It'll undo that. Also, I don't want to move this. That's like the pivot point of it. I want to go up here in this area right here. Hold on, left mouse button and drag it in there. Cool. So this bottom part here is a smile. This I'm going to delete in a bit. It's kind of big. Let me bring it up. I'm going to hit the arrow keys on my keyboard. There we go. Now I'm going to change the shape of it using these corner ones right here. Oops. Let me hold on Shift. Keep the proportions there that I had earlier. There we go. Now I'm gonna use the up arrows to move it up. Off to the side. Cool, if you wanna make two of these teeth, hold down the alternate key, and then hold down the left mouse button in your shape, and then drag it over. Let go of alternate key first, and then the mouse. Oops, never mind. Let go of uh, the mouse first, and then the alternate key. Hold down alternate key, hold down left mouse button on and drag it over. Let go of the mouse, then alternate key, there you go. So now you got two teeth there, if you want two teeth. I'll go with one tooth. Right. Looks a little cuter. All right, so I want to get rid of this stuff up here. I want to just leave this red line here, but I want to delete most of the rectangle there. So to do that, let me move this over. I'm going to hit Control A to select everything. Then I'm going to convert it to a shape like this. So it has a little mesh pattern. And I'm going to hit Control B as in boy. It's going to convert this into a shape. So it's like that instead of a drawing object, Control B. There we go. See, now it has that, uh, that same mesh pattern there. I'm going to go over here to Selection Tool. And I can individually select segments here of the rectangle to delete it. So I'm going to click this inside part there. Oh, let me click out of it. There you go. Deselect it, and I'm going to click there. See? I'm going to hit the Delete key. Delete that whole thing. And delete this edge here. Select it. Delete. Select. Delete. Select. Delete. Uh, the cool thing is that this segment here gets broken up. So this right here now is an individual segment instead of that whole line right there. Click that one. Delete. Click that one, delete, cool. So now I can go in here, double click it. Selects the whole mouth. And I can try to position it in here. So to do that, I'm gonna go down here in the bottom somewhere first. Try to find the centermost area. So I get these little guides here, but that one's not working so good. And then I'm gonna bring it up. I'm still holding down the left mouse button. Yeah, I'm gonna let go. All right, still highlight it there. Cause once you lose that highlight, if you move it off, it's gonna cut a hole in there. Let me show you right now. I think that was a good spot. If I click out of it, then I try to move it again. Now I just punch the hole in there, see? I try to get it on the first try. If you didn't get it on the first try, just hit Control-Z to undo. Select the whole thing and try to get it back in there. Cool, so I got my little mouth in there. And there we go. So this right here is my starting post, my starting frame. Uh, for that bottom layer, the eyeball, I want it uh, just stay there, be continuous throughout the whole animation. So I'm going to go up to 50 frames. I'm just going to animate this up to 50 frames. There's nothing here. There's nothing going on after frame one. Can't even go over there. So I'm going to go down here and right click inside frame 50 for the eye, eyeball layer. Let me make this wider here. There we go. So this layer down here for the eyeball, I'm going to right click in there. And then from this pop-up menu, I'm going to select insert keyframe. Cool. So I just copy that eyeball all the way from frame one to frame 50. And on top, you can't see the green because that's only in frame one right now. So you can see here in the layers, the little uh, filled in circles. It's letting me just keep frames. So after frame one, that doesn't exist. See, it disappears. So this frame one, I'm gonna copy it over to frame 10. And then in frame 10, I'm gonna start closing the eye. All right, so to do that, I'm just gonna right click here in frame 10. Insert keyframe, make sure it's keyframe. Cool. So I just copied frame one all the way over to frame 10. 
And so right now from frame one to nine, it's continuous. Then in frame 10, it's a separate keyframe, so I can create a different animation. If I click inside that frame 10 right there, that keyframe selects everything in that layer for that frame. Uh, I want to select only the eye here because I want to start closing it halfway. So as you can see here, at frame 10, it starts to close halfway, halfway down. So I'm going to go over here to the uh, transform tool. Let me click out of there, deselect all. Let me click this uh, red part here. I'm going to double click it. You got to double click. If you click it once, you only select half. See? Or part of it. So then you get nothing there. Double click. Cool. And now I'm going to go with the center handles. Make sure this is done in frame 10. You can see here's a key frame. There's this dividing point right here. Where from frame 1 to 9, it's constant. It's the same pose. And at frame 10, we're going to do a new pose here. New frame, new key frame. Bring that in about halfway. That looks good right there. And then click away. Cool. So now i got to fill that in. So I'm going to the paint bucket here. Should be that green color. Cool. And I'm just going to go inside this gap right here that I just created. Click there for green. Cool. Fill in the whole thing. If it only did one half, then go down there and fill in the other half. If you accidentally filled in the, the center part, just hit Control-Z to undo. There we go. Selection tool again. All right. So that's at frame 10. And then I'm going to copy frame 10 over to frame 20. Then at frame 20, I'm going to close it. All right. So I don't even have to select that. I can just go straight to 20 right here. Right click, insert keyframe, and it's a halfway closed eye. All right. So from frame 1 to 9, eye is open. Then from 10, from frame 10 to 19, it starts to close. It's halfway down. Then at 10, right here, sorry, at 20, we're going to close it. So at 20, we're going to close it. So make sure the play ahead here, the red line, the red square there is at 20. So you can hold down the left mouse button and drag it over. So transform tool there. Double click the red here. And then close as much as possible. Cool. Let me undo. Don't go too far. You don't want to overlap. So just try to make a touch right there. Cool. There we go. Paint bucket. This is all I have frame 20 right here. Click, 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 clack. All right, selection tool, just to uh, get rid of the, the bucket there. There you go, see? 20 close. All right, then we're going to go over to frame 30. I'm going to keyframe that again. Or actually, if you notice frame 30 right here, it's the same frame as frame 10. Just frame 30, frame 10, see there's no change when I click in between them. So what we're going to do, we're going to copy frame 10 and then paste it at 30. So here's 20. After I paste um, that key frame over here, we should be good. All right, so click on frame 10 there. Click inside here for 30 for, for frame 10. Got to click inside that where that black filled in circle is at. Does that in use keyframe? Click it. That way it selects everything in here. And then right click it. Copy frames, copy frames. And then we're going to go over here to 30. Click in there and then right click it. Paste frames. There we go. And then 20 went up over here to 29, where it stays closed. All right. And then from 40 to 50, it's going to be um, it's going to be completely open. So I'll go here to frame one. Click on frame one. So you got to click it first to select everything in there. And then right click it. Copy frames. And then over here frame 40, right click in there. Paste frames. Cool. And I want this to go all the way to frame 50, so I'm just going to paste it there again. Paste frames. So I see after 40, there's nothing. So I got to paste it here as well. Paste frames, same paste. All right. So now I want to loop this animation. I want to see it in a loop. So I'm going to click this icon here. So loop when I hit the play button. Let me drag this out over here all the way. Hold on the left mouse button and drag it out. Hit the play button. Cool. So I got a blink there. So if you notice, um, it does that mesh pattern. That's just because in those um, in those frames you had everything selected. So I just uh, went away after I hit the selection tool there. All right, came back on that one. That's okay. Uh, if you want to see the preview of the final product, hit Control Enter on your keyboard. There you go, and that's what that's what it's gonna look like right there. All right, and then to make a looping animation, we just gotta uh, save it as a, export it as a GIF. All right, so first I'm gonna save it. If I hit Control Enter, this little one here, you can close it out. Not that one, it's gonna pull out your whole animate project. So this one right here. I'm gonna go to file, save as. Uh, green monster for YouTube. All right, save. All right, so I got this project here saved. It's a FLA file, let me go back over there. 
That means it's a flash file, it's for Adobe Anime. I can open it back up in Adobe Anime and start editing again. Well, for the video file, if I wanna get the video file, you're gonna go up here to File, Export, Export Video, and then uh, remove that one. Make sure there's no check mark there. Uh, if you do activate it, you're gonna get a transparent background. This convert the video format in the Adobe Media Encoder. It's a little more advanced, so you can just leave it as a dot. Uh, MOV uh, file there. Uh, and then you can also click on browse here to choose where you want to export it to. So desktop is okay. You can also click in here, uh, see if there's any other file uh, formats available. It's just that one, that MOV QuickTime. All right, save. And did that move? I want to go on the desktop. Desktop, there we go. Save. Yeah, all right, did the test, a test one earlier, export. And there you go, it's done. And then you can check it out wherever you saved it so you can watch your video. Here's mine. Cool. And if you're wondering oh, why mine is looping, it's because of that loop icon there activated in the VLC player. And there's my uh, green one eye monster blinking at you, winking at you. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. If you'd like to support the channel, you can uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell, anything helps. Have an awesome day.